Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. Do you have room in your heart, home, or family for a foster child? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Marty Miles joins us. She's the director of Aspirinet. Yes. And that's a statewide program in California that places foster kids in loving families. Yes, we're actually a nonprofit a human services agency, one of the largest in California. Um, and our local Camarillo office is the largest of our Aspirinet offices. We do specialize in foster care. However, we are a full service agency. Um, and with our foster care program, you know, we're always looking for lifelong and creating those lifelong permanent connections for foster youth, um, families, and communities. So you're always in need of foster parents. And for our viewers, you know, wondering, would they qualify to be a foster parent? Do you have to be oh. married? I mean, I'm, you know, what are, what are some oh, yeah. of the things you're looking for? Um, uh, people. <laughs> We're looking for people who have room, have room in their hearts, in their homes, um, and love children, and want to mentor, um, provide support, a loving, safe environment for these youth. And do some of them want a particular age? That's... You know, oftentimes people think that they want babies or, you know, the zero to fives, I want the young children, but sometimes we'll, we'll say, well, we've got that six-year-old, how about trying that? Or we've got that 12-year-old or that older youth, you know, the, the youth who's transitioning out of foster care. Those youth also need loving, safe homes that they can call their own. Uh, is there a scenario where the foster child is so loved that the people, the parents end up adopting them. Oh, often. Oh, yes. In fact, we have several of our foster parents who are currently working on an adoption with the children in their homes. Hmm. Yeah. Now, Marty, what about the older kids? Because at 18, mm -hmm. that's still a kid. That is teen. Oh, yeah. 18, 19. Right. They're still teenagers. Mm -hmm. But then they're no longer in the foster care system. Right. What happens? At 18, Typically, the child ages out of the system. We all hear about the, you know, at 18, they're finished with uh, foster care, and that is true. So what happens, unfortunately, is many of the, those youth, in fact, about 4,000 of you, those youth in California end up homeless. Um, oh, wow. So we have a program called a Transitional Housing Placement Program for youth specifically from ages 18 to 21. And this program supports those youth into their transition into adulthood. We, we help them to become more self-sufficient because often they don't have those skills. So we have uh, corporate accounts with apartments throughout the state. Also, we're looking for homes, loving homes who can, who can take care of these youth. Um, it's similar to being a foster parent, okay. but we call them host homes. Host so homes. that the youth who's been in foster care has a family that they can call their own as well. So you've got these 4,000 kids, and I bet mm -hmm. the statistics are pretty grim mm -hmm. on the percentage that actually go to college. Or Right. It's less than half. Less than half of those. And probably not many of them are able to find work. Right. So this program will support them toward employment, will help them find employment. We can help support them towards continuing their education. We provide cooking classes so they learn how to cook, they learn how to balance a checkbook. Um, pretty much anything that a human being would need to know how to do so that they can survive on their own. I think what you're saying, Marty, it's not you're just looking for room and board. Oh, no, absolutely You, you don't become a foster parent because you just, you right. know, you have a big house and you have a spare bedroom. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. it. Yes. There's more. It's, there's more. It's, it's about these children finding lifelong connections, lifelong permanent connections. Permanency is the key. You know, and it may be that some of these foster children are being reunified with their families. But and that's still a wonderful have their thing. Other family to always fall back on right. for the rest of their lives. Very, very interesting. Marty Miles, the director of Aspirin. Thank you yes. so much for joining us here on Thank Local you. Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. Thank you.